Now that we have a handle on the pathfinders and how we can go about combining shapes, what I wanted to do before we ended the chapter is talk about one of the drawing tools inside of Illustrator. And that drawing tool is called the Blob Brush Tool. Now I waited to talk about the Blob Brush Tool until the end of this chapter because the Blob Brush Tool is different than the Paintbrush Tool and the Pencil Tool in the sense that it performs Pathfinder operations on the fly. If you come over and select the tool, it does use stroke attributes. So in this case, I'll be working with a black stroke. If I click and drag, I'm creating a path. At least that's what you would believe based upon what you know about the other drawing tools. So as I click and drag, you'll notice I'm creating this sloppy path. When I let go of the mouse, if we come up to the view menu, under the view menu, you can choose outline. And you'll notice I don't have a path here. Instead, what I have is a shape. And it gets more interesting. If we come back to the view menu and choose preview, command Y or control Y is the keyboard shortcut. If I decide to come over here and continue to paint, you would think that I'm creating more paths. But again, the reality is I'm just modifying that shape that I created. Command Y or Control Y will go back into the outline view and you can see it's nothing more than a shape. So this is how it really differs from the other drawing tools. Command Y or Control Y will get you back into the preview view. I'm going to press the V key on the keyboard to activate the selection tool. I'm going to select this and delete it. What I want to show you is how you can use this in conjunction with the eraser tool. So in order for us to illustrate that, I'm going to kind of create a little light bulb logo something that looks similar to the old Apple Newton logo. I'm going to come over and choose the blob brush tool. In fact, if you double click it, you'll get a series of options here. Now, we talked about some of these tolerances when we talked about the paintbrush tool in the previous chapter, but you have those same fidelity and smoothness options here. But you also have a brush size, angle, and roundness. Now, what's nice about this is if you have a pressure sensitive tablet like I do right now, You'll have several different options within this menu. Right now it's set to fixed, but if you do have that pressure sensitive tablet, a lot of these options will be available to you. So you could choose something like pressure and then specify a variation. So in this case, what I wanna do is, I guess leave the size around 10 points and I'm gonna go ahead and increase the variation a little bit, maybe increase it to nine. So we have a broad range of sizes that we'd be able to essentially produce on screen based upon how much pressure we're putting on that pen. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Once you click OK, again, you want to make sure that your stroke is set to black. Mine got switched, so I'll go ahead and switch it back. Then you can go ahead and create that light bulb. So I'm going to go ahead and use the tablet. Again, it's kind of like that old Apple Newton logo. So I'm just going to start down here towards the bottom. And I also want to show you as I press down or bear down on the drawing tablet, the thickness of the brush stroke increases. So I'm just going to come down here and maybe add a couple lines. And again, I'm just going to show you the variations of pressure. I'm going to go ahead and undo that for a second. I'll just bear down on it a little bit more. I'm going to undo that. I'll bear down a little bit more. So you can really see the difference between the two. And I'll just add some lines up here towards the top that kind of give the illusion that the light bulb is turning on. Now what we want to do is kind of fill this with a yellow color. So we can come over and double click the blob brush tool. And I'm going to increase the size of the brush, something like 30, 35 points. And then you can come over and click OK. The last thing that I want you to do is come over and change the color of the stroke to something like yellow. And then once you're happy with that, you can just kind of click and drag inside this light bulb. Before you click and drag with the light bulb though, what you can do is come over and choose this option right here, which is draw behind. This drawing mode is available for the paintbrush tool and the pencil tool as well. And what it will give you the ability to do is draw behind the content currently within the document. So here, if I click and drag, it looks like I'm essentially drawing on top of those lines. When you let go or stop drawing, you'll notice that that's not the case. So if you wanted to clean this up a little bit, you can use the eraser tool. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this in just a little bit more down here towards the bottom. 
And like I said, if you wanted to clean this up, you can do that with the eraser tool. Again, if we come up to the view menu and choose outline, we can see that we're just creating a series of shapes. We're not really creating paths. So again, let's come back to the preview view. Now we can choose the eraser tool. And the eraser tool has similar options. Here, you'll notice we can draw normal, we can draw behind, and we can also draw inside. But in this case, I'm just gonna come over here and choose draw normal. But if we do wanna make sure that we don't harm the outline of this light bulb, we can always select the center color. And we can temporarily activate the selection tool by holding down the command key or the control key on Windows and clicking on that. And again, it's a shape. So now if we click and drag or use the tablet, it looks like we're harming the black path, but when we let go of the mouse, you can see that that's not the case. All we're doing is altering this yellow shape that we created. And again, we can further verify that by coming up to the view menu, and under the view menu, you can choose outline. Again, command Y or control Y is the keyboard shortcut. And if you don't like it, you can always delete it. But again, the point is, when you're using this blob brush, you're really just creating shapes in a freehand fashion as it performs that Unite Pathfinder on the fly.